hey guys welcome back to another video and thank you so much for clicking on my video once again so here are all the ingredients for the cinnamon roll cinnamon rolls that we're going to be making today i'll put everything in the description box and let's just get into it okay we're gonna start by getting a half a cup of warm water and we're gonna mix that into our cold milk and in that we're going to add our yeast and once that is added all together we're going to add just a teaspoon of sugar and mix it together and let it sit until it gets all frothy and poofy this stage is called proofing um don't don't start with the mixing of the dough if the yeast hasn't proofed just like that you see how it looks it must be exactly like that Okay, now that it's all done, we're just going to add that yeast mixture into a bowl. You're going to add some melted butter, sugar, and an egg, and you're going to mix that all together. And once that is all incorporated well, you're going to add your flour. Now with flour, I added it in batches just because I'm not using a stand mixer. I am using my, you know, my hands whisk. Um, but as soon as it gets a bit difficult for me to use the whisk, I will just use a wooden spoon um, because it just makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, as you can see there, I'm struggling to get all the dough out of that whisk. So I now have changed into a wooden spoon and you just mix it up until it's all incorporated together. I mean if you have a stand mixer that is good you know but it's not necessary and you can still make the same cinnamon rolls with your hands so now that I floured the surface I'm just going to put the dough onto the surface and I'm gonna start using my hands now make sure your hands are clean and yep you are just going to love the dough touch it you know love the dough and uh, knead that's called kneading you're just going to knead just by you're just going to knead it just like how I'm doing right there. I'm just going to speed it up and when it's all done, it's going to be like a little ball like that. And as you can see, it's no longer sticky. Now you're just going to oil up um, your bowl. I just used a, some cooking spray or you can just use oil or butter. And you're going to put your dough into that and let it sit in a nice warm area just to rise for an hour ish 45 minutes it's up to you i let it sit for an hour and i let it sit in my daughter's room because it had nice sunlight okay now it has risen it has doubled in size so i just take it out again and i'm just going to pat it down just a little bit and i'm going to start rolling it out um usually it's best to roll out into triangle i mean a rectangular shape but um i don't know i don't think that is a rectangular shape but yeah so that is a mixture of cinnamon and brown sugar i'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla to that and mix it up together and get ready for it to put it onto our dough but first we're going to start by adding oh hi skyla but first we're going to start by adding some softened butter onto our dough just so it can be nice and moist i know everyone hates that word but it is so fitting for the cinnamon rolls because we don't want them to be dry be generous with the butter mix it all over the place and if you feel like you still need more just add more and now you're just going to add your cinnamon and sugar mixture on top and spread it out okay now you're just going to roll those up and make sure it is nice and tight nice and tight so once it's all rolled up I'm just going to use a knife just to um, put mark like little line marks on where I'm going to cut it up so I'm gonna sh like cut a half and a half of the half and a half of the half just until you get 12 lines I hope that makes sense and I'm going to use a floss to cut it up just because it makes life so much easier, better than a knife. And 
and as you can see now that is all done they look amazing so now we're gonna go for our second rise and you're gonna cover it up and put it in a nice warm area again for another hour okay they look amazing they have risen and they are ready to bake now we're at the final stages of the cinnamon rolls now you're going to just add some melted butter on top just so it can have that nice golden brown once it's done baking okay so now we're going to bake these cinnamon rolls for 20 minutes at 180 degrees and that is um 375 fahrenheit i think but uh yeah so as you can see they look amazing now that they're done they look golden brown they oh my gosh i'm actually hungry right now so i really want some now we're gonna make our frosting and it is only four ingredients literally just powdered sugar butter vanilla and milk i usually add cream cheese as well but i didn't have some so it's not a problem it's still gonna be delicious and i just add two tablespoons of milk some people add three it depends on how thick you like it i like it really thick and i apply it one day just a little warm just so it can spread evenly and oh my gosh look at them they're amazing did you see how easy that was um it's not hard at all if you don't have a stand mixer you can still do them with your hands and yeah thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe down below and like and comment if you want to see more of these kind of recipes thank you bye